I wish I had the perfect words to give to you with all your grand dreams and body full of light, but I don't, so I'll try to give you what I have. I'll start with the hands, the ones reaching, pulling body, family, and love away from the sharp-edged border. Dreamers that ended up scattered on land like wishes and hopes that grew roots and greener leaves despite the harsher winds of change. When I was younger and my mother could fix anything with a pink concha and tea. Now, alongside all of you, we are here, ever present, ever alive, ever in good company. Tethers of home, family, and helping hands are always reaching out, offering light and hope and even just a space to breathe. I will sit with you now. I will sit and breathe in celebration and an accomplishment so big that our bodies could not have prepared for years ago. And together we will settle into an almost pause, breathing in the finish line before we stand up, receive diplomas, and grow into new dreams, paths, and hopes. And all end here with a voice reaching out saying, Congratulations, Karimu. My one word would definitely be transformative. Radiant. Rewarding. Growth. The main green has been a super important part of my brown experience. It's been such a safe place for me to go and be with my friends and just sit on a picnic blanket and enjoy the sun. On the green, I can only feel memories of joy and, and laughter and happiness and just a sense of, of community and comfort. A place that meant a lot to my friends and I was actually Joe's because we would always make late night food runs together. The Stephen Robert Campus Center is a space that means a lot to me on campus because it was my first point of contact with Brown when I first visited during my senior year of high school. It was the space where I had a breakdown during ADOC thinking I could never adapt to life at Brown. And then it became my home base on campus, a place I could go in between classes and always run into a friend or a friendly face. I'm honestly just so grateful for my time at Brown, all the wonderful memories I've made with great friends, and just how supportive my family has been through all of it. I'm incredibly grateful for the people who I've met at Brown who have just absolutely changed my life. And supported me in, in good times and in bad and I just know that they're a core of people that I, I will have for my entire life and it's something that I think of every day that I'm so lucky to have people who not only can I be an absolute idiot with but also you know we can grow together we can learn from each other we can become more mature I'm just so lucky that I have found the friends that I have here I'm grateful for my family and boyfriend who provided endless strength, motivation, and inspiration during my time at Brown. I'm also grateful for new friends who reinvigorated my love for campus. I think it's definitely been hard to adapt to um, this second part of the semester and um, accepting that a lot of the things that were supposed to give us closure for our four years here at Brown um, will not be happening at least the way that we thought they were. 
but I do have to say I've had people made the experience a lot easier uh, on me and that's all thanks to um, the professional staff at the BCSC, um, my close friends, the communities I found here at Brown, Latinx community, Black community, and I'm really, really thankful for that. The semester has been heartbreaking, but the thing that has gotten me through is knowing that the memories don't stop when Brown stops for me. And rest assured knowing that the connections that I have with people and the joy that that really at the end of the day that they bring me doesn't have to only exist at Brown. And that, that can keep living. When I was on campus, my mom would always tell me to lay on the grass, to lay on the main green and take a deep breath in, to appreciate being there and this experience has just taught me how right she was and how you have to appreciate every single walk to class, even the ones where you're running late or nervous for an exam or a presentation. How you have to appreciate every meal with friends, every meal in your room, and just appreciate being there. Even though we don't get to celebrate commencement in person this year, we should still be incredibly proud of four years of hard work and accomplishments. So I just wanted to take this time to say congratulations to the class of 2020. I just finally wanted to say thank you to Kumar, to Adriana, to Alexa for all the work that they put into this, for their patience, for their consideration. Us seniors, we really appreciate that. Thank you. The Brown Center for Students of Color is proud to continue the lineage of the Latinx commencement ceremony. While we will not be celebrating at the traditional venues in Providence, we aim to create opportunities for our communities to share tributes, memories, and words of wisdom. To recognize seniors, we will draw on what we do know, collective wisdom, deliberately crafting spaces for celebration, and caring for one another. We, the staff members of the BCSC, offer a thank you to seniors who showed us. Laughter amidst chaos. Joy in the face of unknowing. And for the families and friends who lift us up. We honor you. Congratulations to the Latinx Commencement Ceremony Class of 2020. Woo! You did that. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, Benito and I just wanted to congratulate you all on making it to graduation. We know that Brown is not an easy place at times, so we hope that you are sharing in the feelings of immense pride that we have for you all. And um, and we're hoping that you're also taking this time to reflect on how much courage and strength you've shown both individually and communally, but also that you're getting to celebrate all of your incredible achievements. Es hora de perrear. No es hora de dormir, es hora de perrear. Seniors, I speak on behalf of several underclassmen when I say that your engagement, passion, intelligence, and ability to lead and create has been really influential and rewarding to witness. This class marks a pivotal point in the strengthening of the Latinx community and presence at Brown, and we thank you for making Brown feel like home for so many of us. This is a historic moment, and I really hope you take the time to embrace and recognize the magnitude of this accomplishment. Everything for our people y para la cultura. Felicidades, you did that! Dear Latinx graduates, we are all so proud of you and can't wait to celebrate you in person. Until then, I hope you'll celebrate as best you can with a kitchen dance party or long car parade of all your loved ones. Felicidades. Congratulations, class of 2020. I hope that you all are able to take a few moments to celebrate this huge accomplishment of graduating from Brown University. While we're not able to gather to celebrate you all here on campus, I'm looking forward to hearing about all the great things that you'll be doing in the future. Congratulations. As you embark into this new phase of your life, please remember your accomplishments. Think about your journey as to how you got to this point. Don't ever forget who you are. Be proud, be bold, be fearless. At the same time, stay humble and go out there and make a difference and be the person you are destined to be. Hi, it's Professor Flores here, and it's an honor to get to celebrate you, Latinx graduating seniors. Congratulations, you did it. Class of 2020, you always hold a special place in my heart because you started Brown at the same time that I started as faculty in the education department. And it's been a real privilege to watch you go through the last four years and to go through them together. 
Um, I know this isn't the end of your senior year that you wanted, but you're strong, and I can't wait to celebrate with you in person next year. Felicidades! Dear Class of 2020, congratulations. In your time at Brown, you've borne witness to the world changing and changing again. Felicidades. Congratulations to you and to your families for todo su esfuerzo and struggles and hard work to get to this point. In the words of the popular resistance slogan, which forever I will associate with Mariori Conde class of 2018, MAT class of 2019, La Lucha Sigue. We need your creativity, we need your energy, we need your commitment to making change in your communities now more than ever. Peace. Hi there, Latinx graduates. My hope for you is that you continue to make the world a better place. You are a loving and passionate group of people whom I admire deeply. Congratulations on your graduation. I hope to see you in person soon. Love, Professor Rodriguez. Hello, class of 2020. Congratulations on this incredibly momentous occasion. We are so proud of you. We are proud of who you are and what you've accomplished during your time at Brown. You are going to do great things and we are excited to witness your impact in this world. Once again, congratulations and much love. As of 2020, congratulations, felicidades, parabéns. Here's Hanatha from the UFLY Center and 2017 alum to say, I know it was hard and you did it and I'm so, so proud of you. Now go get some rest, stay connected to each other y siempre pa'lante, besos. Hi, I'm Eric Estes, Vice President for Campus Life. And on behalf of the entire division, I wanna congratulate the class of 2020. Uh, you have accomplished so much uh, during your time at Brown. Brown is a better and stronger place because of your many contributions. Uh, I'd also like to uh, recognize and thank uh, your families and loved ones for all that they've done to support you. Uh, I hope that, that you will come back and visit uh, often uh, and see this as a home away from home. Again, congratulations. Congratulations, graduating seniors. We are so very proud of you. You are a special group. It's a different world from the world you entered four years ago, but I have no doubt that you'll bring your considerable talents and energy and creativity to addressing the problems that we face. We are so very proud of you. Keep in touch. We need your continued help in nurturing future generations of Latinx students. Congrats. Felicidades y muchos, muchos abrazos, class of 2020. I know this journey has not been short or easy, but I hope you know that we are so, so proud of each and every single one of you. My name is Pedro Noguera. I am the Dean of the Rossier School of Education at the University of Southern California. I'm also a graduate of Brown University, class of 1977. I wanna wish all the graduates, the Latino graduates, my very best. I know these are strange times, hard times for many of us, uh, and this is not the graduation you would hope for. Uh, we wish that you could have been with your family and your friends to celebrate your accomplishment. But you have graduated nonetheless, and we need you. Our communities need you. They need your leadership. They need your intelligence because we face many challenges at this time. So I want you to enjoy this moment of celebration. Uh, it's, again, not what we had hoped for, but it is still an accomplishment, and we are all extremely proud of you. We expect good things for you to accomplish. Congratulations, buena suerte, adelante, hasta la victoria. Congratulations, class of 2020, you did it. And I'm so proud of you. My name is Suzanne Rivera, and I'm from the class of 1991. And I'm here to tell you whatever true means to me. It means you're part of a family, and that family is here for you, no matter where you go, for life. So welcome to the family and congratulations, ever true. Hello, class of 2020 and congratulations. My name is Cristobal Modesto and I graduated in 1999.
1995. So this would have been my 25th year reunion with all of you. But I want to say how proud I am of you and I'm proud that you are continuing the Brown Latinx legacy and pushing it forward. And my advice to all of you would be to take risks, right? You're only young ones. So if something seems scary or intimidating, who cares? Just try it anyway. Um, even if you fail, you'll get back up and you'll move on and continue forward. So have fun, enjoy it. The 25 years will go by so fast and you'll have your 25th year reunion and I'll have my 50th year reunion, but stay close to Brown and your friends and to each other and just enjoy this time. Hi, Brown class of 2020. My name is Dania Matos from the class of 2003. Congratulations, felicidades. If I could offer you any piece of advice from my years as an alumna thus far, is to really trust your intuition and never forget the core of who you are and the values that drive them. They will drive your personal and professional choices like they have for me, and they've never steered me wrong. And I promise you, they never will yours. Thank you for letting me be a part of your journey. And welcome to the amazing alumni Brown Familia, which just got a little more extraordinary because you're in it. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Christian Martell and I'm from the class of 2010. If I can share some wisdom during this time, it would be that while you may not be ending your time on College Hill with a campus dance or commencement on the main green, know that you are going forward into the world with so much. Be proud of what you have accomplished, especially considering your final months were under such difficult circumstances. A brown education is something that no one and nothing can ever take away from you. So as you celebrate in your own way and in your own time, I hope you feel exceptionally proud of the Brown degree you and your family have worked so hard to earn. Welcome to the Brown Alumni Familia. Take 102, click. Um, I hope this makes it into the video because I just wanna give a huge shout out to Kumar, to our commencement coordinators. I wanna say thank you so much for all of your work, for all of your labor. I offer you these beautiful flowers from my house to yours. I hope that you know that we see you. We recognize the long nights and the early mornings and all the creativity and innovation y'all are using to make all of this magic happen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.